This is the LEGO Polaroid, and yes, it takes pictures! Kinda. Thank you, LEGO, for sending it. After the Orient Express, the LEGO Ideas team redeemed themselves with the LEGO Polaroid one-step camera, as far as quality control goes, for the most part. And while the set isn't perfect and does have a few issues I'll discuss in a bit, still is a killer-looking product that will get a lot of people excited about. And it starts with the extras. First, a model of a film pack used by back in the day to reload the camera with film sheets. Very simple sideways build with the front facing tiles including the bright colors the original pack had, as well as two printed tiles with the product brand and name. Now this is a box actually, that carries three Polaroid photos made with a thick plastic material, similar to the one from that Chinese New Year Frozen Lake set. They're all printed front and back with the iconic black rectangle making it even more believable and likely expensive to produce. The pictures themselves depict Edwin Land, the inventor of the instant photography system and co-founder of the Polaroid Corporation, so cool reference there. Then a photo of the fan designer's sister at the La Rochelle Arbor, referencing their family trips. And finally, a picture of the Lego house in Billund, Denmark, which to me is the coolest of them all and the one that will more broadly appeal to Lego fans in general. But here's the Polaroid one-step camera, or Polaroid Polaroid 1000, as it was known in Europe, a customization option included in the set, as there are stickers for both models. And while in the topic of stickers, there's one for the light and darkened control that after a while gets up like this, which is concerning. I've pressed it down three or four times already since I built the model a couple days ago, so I'm not sure this will ever properly stick, which isn't great. But if you can look past that, the model looks instantly recognizable. I'll come out and say that I don't love the studded back, it kinda takes away from the overall slickness of the whole model, but then again there's almost no angle tile parts in the LEGO portfolio to make this all smooth, so I can understand the limitations here. There's also these gaps at the junctions of the angled sections, which again works against the looks of the model, they do however flow really nicely towards the smooth side of the LEGO camera. The angled white section in the front though is spot on, I'd say, with the iconic rainbow of colors there, leading to the last sticker of the set that reads Polaroid Land Camera. The lens, made with just three pieces, is great, the shutter button is a printed 2x2 tile, at the top there's even the slot where you'd insert the flash bar attachment, and for the last detail there's even the viewfinder window, which isn't just for show, as you can actually see through the viewfinder as as you would in the real camera. Now, the truly remarkable thing about this is the function I showed at the very beginning of the video, where you can kinda take pictures with this. In the real camera, you'd actually open the film door to load the film pack, whereas in the LEGO camera, you do it to load the photo piece like so. After which, you just need to close the film door and take your picture, which is a really cool play feature. The exit slot kinda halts the movement of the picture, so if you do it while while the film door is open, the picture actually shoots out. Breaking the camera open, we can see how the function operates, where loading the photo will engage these elements like these, kept in tension with LEGO rubber bands that the shutter button will release for a simple yet satisfying result. I don't have the actual camera to compare to the LEGO one, but the scale feels believable enough for this to pass as the real object, and despite my criticism about that one sticker, and the raw look of the back of the object, this is one of the coolest products the Ideas theme has done in a while. Cool display piece with smart play function, something I really loved about the typewriter for instance, until I found out about the price. Looking at the 500 piece count, I figured this would end up being a $60 product, but boy was I wrong. It will retail for $80 when it releases on January 1st, which is crazy expensive and totally surprised me. There's a brand partner so royalties must be paid and it's probably safe to assume the photo elements must be insanely expensive production wise, that's the only possible explanation here, but damn, that's a price per piece ratio worse than the LEGO Ideas Orient Express or the LEGO Walt Disney Tribute Camera even, which also has its own fair share of expensive
expensive to produce elements. Unbeknownst, consumers won't bat an eye and will buy into these no questions asked. The model does look amazing. I'm just not too sure how LEGO fans will feel about it. It's already available to pre-order, links in description, and shipping starts January 1st. But as much as I like the model, the function and special elements, I'd probably tell you to wait for a discount as this thing is way overpriced.